We sat down with the IMF's managing director, Kristalina Gorkieva, who helped to talk us through and understand what the respective roles were now. While they are more the same, they are still different. Take a listen. What has happened is the world has changed. What is macro-critical today is not the same as it was in the 50s and in the 60s. Uh, for example, no question climate shocks are macro-critical. Uh, they put a strain on economies and investment in the green transition are also macro-critical. They help generate green growth and jobs. Where we are very clear, and we put out a joint statement with uh, Ajay uh, Banga, is that there is complementarity. The bank has very deep sectoral expertise. We don't, and we would never ever get into uh, sectoral investments. The IMF has very strong macro policy expertise. So what we bring is how we can use fiscal policies to advance the transition to digital economy, how you can use monetary policy to assess the new types of risks, including from crypto, from climate, and how you can use data to cover what matters to policymakers today and in the future. And we bring these skills uh, with the bank in a very impactful manner. And let me say this, the world needs institutions to work together. So that was the IMF's Managing Director, Kristalina Gorgieva. We talked to her in an exclusive interview, uh, talking about how both institutions, the IMF, hers, and the World Bank, are becoming more similar, but are still very distinct. Working across verticals here, climate, cryptocurrency, debt sustainability, etc., but bringing very different skills and expertise to the table of the World Bank, of course. They have very significant, uh, significant sectoral, vertical expertise in uh, issues like climate, uh, etc., whereas the World Bank, they bring a lot of macro expertise, top-level expertise, top-down expertise to the table.